Good morning. Welcome back to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Parrott, your host. All right, we're going to share with you. Well, first off, I mentioned just before the break about how we can help you uh, pick out the right annuity uh, or to see if annuities are even a fit for you at all. Or if you have an annuity to help you see how it compares with the different generation of annuities we have out there today. So one of the things when you go back in, in time, uh, some of the older annuities in particular just had one index, typically like the S&P 500 index, as an example, was the most popular. And at times that was a, you know, that worked out really well, in particular in the early years. Over the years, they've developed additional indexes that are tied. Some of them are traditional ones you've, you're familiar with, like the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the Russell 2000, uh, EFA, EuroAsia, Far East, uh, so you can get both international and domestic. But then they've added new ones. So Citibank, uh, Chase, uh, Bank of America, uh, Merrill Lynch, there's a a number of different uh, banking institutions, Barclays is another, that have developed these different indices that are now available to you. So there's one called the Mosaic, and I think that one's Chase, if I remember right. Um, then uh, Wisdom Tree, I mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, Barclays has come out with, I think there's Schiller we've got in there. There's a bunch of different names that you know, you're probably not gonna be so familiar with, but they've been a great way uh, to add value, to add additional growth potential with these fixed index annuities. If you'd like to see again, if this is a good fit for you personally, all right, I'm going to get into more here in, in a general sense, but for your personal planning, you can call my office at 615 376 5325. I'll do up a comprehensive plan for you, which includes taking a look and sharing with you if you've got annuities, we'll, we'll help you with those and, and guide you of, of some of the. But a lot, I, I've had a lot of people come in with annuities, for instance, that didn't even know how to use them properly. In other words, the different benefits were there and how they could be used for the, to uh, enhance their income. Uh, and then there are others that thought that the annuity was going to do something it's not designed, the particular one they have was not designed to do but there is another one out there that we could swap it for and, and attain that goal. So, again, it's worth looking at. If you'd like some help with that, 615-376-5325. Maybe you'd like to just get the whole comprehensive plan. Maybe you'd like to say, you know, I'd like to see what my financial future is going to be based on what I'm doing now. Can I retire when I want to retire? Or now that I am retired, am I being safe with my money? Can I take, you know, would, I be, would it be safe to take more out? Or do I need to be uh, more careful? Are there some strategies that I can employ to help me minimize my taxes, not only on investment income, but in, as far as com money's coming out of retirement accounts as an example, but also on social security benefits and you know if you've got income um, if you've got income up there uh, it, it, it's in particular let's say with required minimum distributions you're having to take those required minimum distributions at 72 and maybe that boosts you up to where you're in a higher tax bracket maybe it's affecting your social security benefits uh, maybe it causing you to pay higher Medicare premiums all of these things right that can be avoided through good planning and in particular for those that have to Time, you know, if you've got five to ten years before you start RMDs, all the better. And, and in planning how these more resources we have, the more uh, variety of those resources. If we've got both IRAs and Roth IRAs and non-qualified funds to work from, that's going to give us the best opportunity for minimizing taxes uh, on our income in retirement. But we can help you a lot with all of that. So anyway, 615-376-5325 if you'd like to get that comprehensive plan plan or maybe just talk about annuities or maybe estate planning or whatever it might be, give us a call. We're here to help you. And when you come in to see me, I'm also going to give you a copy of my book, Seven Steps to Financial Freedom and Retirement. So if you'd like to get the free book as well as the free planning, um, this is a great way. That, again, I do this as a way to introduce you myself more fully to you to see if there's a good fit for both of us. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I want to look forward to the people coming into my office. So I'm happy to help you get started. And if it's a good fit, maybe we'll have something more uh, in a long-term situation. All right. Why choose an annuity? Let's go back to that. Use the four P's of annuities. This is that piece from Nationwide I've been sharing with you. They call it the four P's of annuities to create your own path. Personalize it. Help meet your goals with the right 
product. I can't stress that enough. I, most times when I see people come across people that are unhappy with the new, it's because they had the wrong product or they heard from a friend or a relative uh, that they were bad and it was because that person had the wrong product for their particular needs. And that's not to say annuities for everyone, but it's some, somewhat telling to know that in the latest tax legislation that we had, that one of the things that they did and try to, uh, that they provided to make, um, make it easier for people in planning for retirement is they are making annuities now available in 401ks and you'll start to see those I'm sure in coming years more and more uh, in your 401k plans as an option to again get that guaranteed income. Uh, Propel, imagine the possibilities for growth, tax deferred potential. So you can put even non-qualified funds into an annuity and get tax deferral. It doesn't have to be an IRA. Growth potential, you got ba you can gain buying power that way, right? Skip fees or taxes. Manage your investments yourself or use the money manager your call. Uh, provide income, legacy, spousal opportunities, protect, plan for what and who matters most. And this is one of the things uh, annuities go directly to the beneficiary. You name a beneficiary on the annuity, it bypasses probate and goes direct to that, uh, to that beneficiary. So that can be another uh, useful tool in planning and helping to uh, attain your goals. Simply speaking, spousal protection death benefit feature in a variable annuity like dual airbag security for both. If you pass away first, your spouse is protected with either continuation or full payment. This could, and it doesn't have to be variable. This can be an um, index annuities as well as even fixed annuities. You can have provisions in those uh, to make sure that your spouse is taken care of. Any kind of income producing annuity uh, would normally give you the the. Um, uh, option of having it over one lifetime or protect both you and your spouse with dual protection there. All right, let's talk about immediate annuities again. This is the most basic type of annuity, one lump sum contribution. This is a couple of slides ahead now. Uh, converted into an ongoing guaranteed stream of income, again, as few as five years or up to a lifetime. I've used them both. I've, uh, typically, we use them as stepping stones where we might do like a five-year. Um, so if you think of income, we want it to increase. Inflation, right? We're certainly seeing that today with fuel prices and get everything. It's in the news so much. I think we're up over 7, I think it's 7.2 percent from a year ago. Now, one of the things we're concerned about with inflation if the price of things goes up, we need our income to go up to keep pace with that. And this is one of those you can get annuities that can, in fact, go up that will have inflation riders. Some of them will be tied to um, an index to the market that increases the income that way. The key is make sure you know what you're getting. And it's not if it's going to be just level, you may want it to be. That's where we may ladder it up. In other words, we would say, OK, here's a, a level income for five years. Now, at the end of five, we want to increase the income. So now we take another, we, for six to ten years, we might have a different product we'll use for that, and we will want that income to be able to increase over time. So that's one way you can use immediate annuities. The, the benefits, what are the uh, benefits? Tax advantages, immediate payments, uh, customized guaranteed income, income security, uh, additional features for protection. You can get return of, principal, uh, return of premium. Uh, so there's a lot of ways you can protect your principal and still get income. So a lot of trade-offs on those. And again, it's important to match up the right one with your specific needs. Uh, what you should consider, it's not for everyone. This is the other, you know, and options. If you get the right product, it's great. But even then, immediate annuities in particular may not be a good fit for you. We don't use them that frequently. It's not like everyone. But there are times when they are a real benefit. And immediate, some of them will offer, again, cost of living adjustments and keep, help your income increase over time. Then the next one we have are fixed annuities. Now you're locking in a rate of earning. You're getting a guaranteed return. Now these are for longer term. These are not immediate income. We typically see these uh, and they can be short term two or three years or five years or more. Right now with interest rates as low as they are, we typically stick with just short term two to three years. They're only paying about two to two and a half percent a year. Better than you can get in a CD, right? And if we just, if we just want a short term fixed for right now, that can that can be something we uh, look at and and have used uh, on that basis. Now, when you get, I've got clients that have fixed annuities from years ago, 
where they were able to lock in a 10-year rate at 7% a year. Can you imagine that today? Wouldn't you love that? Uh, that time may come again. Interest rates are going to go start going up. Uh, Chairman Powell of the Federal Reserve has said they're going to start uh, this month when they meet. We'll see uh, likely to see a quarter of a percent increase uh, in the rates where in each likely to see multiples four or five times this year. Um, most experts believe you're going to see about uh, one to one and a half percent total increase in interest rates uh, that the Fed's going to raise up over this next year. And it could be even higher. Uh, but we expect that at least as a minimum, it's going to be somewhere between one and one and a half. Uh, but there are those that think it could be two to two and a half. So, you know, watch out for that. And depending on the pace at which they go, what that might do as far as volatility in the market. So it's another thing to be concerned about. Uh, the they're concerned about inflation. How can they uh, protect against that? There's a lot of factors that are going to go in that you have to be aware of and what effect it could have uh, on your investments and, of course, thereby on your income and how can we protect in that situation, okay? We're going to share some more with you about that, but first to break, join us here. We'll be right back on the Retirement Report.